Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Misty with A Unique Treasure. I'm coming on to talk to you about what is upcoming with my channel and what I'm doing. Um, I have been MIA for a while again, of course, busy life at home. Uh, but I do want to say that I am coming back with a project. I am going to be making a um, journal, a beautiful journal, and it is going to be like a baby journal but it's not going to be so much, um, I don't know, it's just going to be a little different. It's going to be really pretty. You're going to know it's a, uh, for a baby, but I definitely do want to just add a lot of just gorgeous lacy elements to it. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to go along and, and see how it comes out. But this is, I'm going to do this on camera. Uh, we're going to be making some ephemera uh, for it and I just want to show you some of the things now this is a project that I am doing for Globeland and that is a company that if you look at my prior video you'll see that they offered to send me product in order for me in exchange for me to do um, you know a review a tutorial and show them well the way I do things is I just craft so I did show them to you um, already, and these are the ones I've chosen to try to implement into the journal. And then this is their beautiful uh, stamps that I'm going to try. So when I say it's a baby journal, it's not going to be just all only baby items. So I'm going to uh, incorporate some of these beautiful things in there too. And it's just going to be a unique journal that so happens to have baby things in it that they can use because I really believe that the um, generation that is coming up behind my kids and even some of my younger kids they like different they don't like the typical um, vintage uh, baby baby you know yellow green uh, I don't know just stuff that we grew up with so um, I'm just going to have some fun. This came off of a card. Um, I cut it out off of a uh, some type of card, a greeting card. Um, and so I just got some really super cute elements from them. I love this little kitty cat. I just think that is so pretty. So I'm going to be cutting these out, the little bear. And it's like ivy or leaves or something. It's so cute. Um, yeah, and this is upside down because I want you to see how it comes. Like this is one, one set. So that's really awesome what you get for one set. And he's got his paw up. So, of course, I can put one of these balloons, um, you know, into his hand. Um, and I plan on doing something really neat if I can pull it off. So I've sketched out the front of how I want the journal. And the inside pages, I just kind of go along and... Uh, that front of this journal is going to really set the tone for the inside. So I'm hoping that it's going to come out just so pretty and I will work on it. That's why I can't like, oh, I'm going to have this video done by this time and this time because I work until I say it's done. And I, I just do that because there's a certain feel that I want to happen. So, and these prints are kind of big for a journal. So I'm, I am going to be using a larger um, I'm going to end up using this. I will be cutting this part and then I will be, you know, putting it together as we typically would uh, with the little, um, you know, space in between here. Uh, but I'll be going over that. I'll be uh, sand sanding this down a little bit and I will also be um, gessoing. Uh, this because I do like to gesso my covers. I don't know why I just do. And then I will be using fabric as you see. And I ha I haven't pulled everything that I, I want to use. I'm just trying not to do too much. But the neat thing is that I used to collect these things and I've never used them. Um, let me put Globe Land stuff aside for a second. And I want to show you um, the kit that not this came from a different paper pack and I am going to be using these that's why these things are out here I'm going to be using those in it um, this is really cute this little kit because I have separate paper packs and things um, but this put together and I'm buying these things this is not part of it this is not part of it let me take out the stuff that's not part of it um, 
but these this is part of it this is great and i mean in this fabric you could not choose any better right i mean it's got just all the colors everything in it that's why i, I was choosing this so I, i'm hoping to get one of the dragonflies um you know some of the really pretty i will be placing it and possibly fussy cutting it for that purpose because again and then i love this fabric this is just it's like boss I, it may be i don't know but i love this fabric it's not stretchy at all um so this is gonna go with this and um, ben just came in with it and i got these from hobby lobby a long time ago um, and I used to collect these, like I would get these for like $5 when they were on sale, it, when they were having their crazy sales, which they do all the time still. Um, and look at this beautiful paper and the colors. They're just perfect for a baby. And I am going to seam this towards a girl uh, because I do, I just, I don't know. I just look at this and I see girl. I don't see boy at all. And if it was just strictly, I don't know. It just screams girl to me, so that's what we're going with. And I just think, and I mean, just the fact that they give you these little things here. It is dark out. It's like 11 o'clock at night where I'm live, where I live. Um, and so I just wanted to get this done and make a short little video and show you guys. But this will be a global land project. So what I'll do is probably first um, work on what they want to see which is the other product being used it's been a minute uh, because I did have to delay the videos once I got their uh, product and so I really need to get some of the tags or whatever you know done and show you guys how amazing their stuff is so I will be cutting out the die cuts tomorrow um, as far as printing I'm not sure uh, to the stamping I I really want to do this on fabric and make some pretty tags or something i'm not sure yet but i will just be doing it whatever happens happens you know we're gonna have fun though and it's gonna be beautiful how whatever it turns out and the only thing i have sketched out that i really want to try to make happen and i'm sorry if i'm shaking the camera because it's right here like i can hug the the screen here um is i'm just going to make sure that the the cover is exquisite um, and the inside is always going to be nice, but the cover is really my big deal. I love, love presentation. I love first look, you know, when you first see it, it's just that. Oh. So I'm so glad to be touching paper again. I have been doing the reborns, um, as you guys probably know, some of you that are on my personal Facebook know. I got my mom involved in it. It's been very good for her. She loves it. Um, I wanted to take her away from this a little bit because she was like eh, struggling somewhat. So the reborns have been really good for her and me. Uh, it's been a real big success too. Even though I'm doing it as a hobby, I have been able to successfully sell five of them, I believe it right now, um, so fast. So I know it's something I should be doing too, but I want to uh, marry the two together. I don't want to leave one. I just don't. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, hit like, make sure you hit that bell. Cause if you hit the bell, you're going to know when I have one of the videos out to do or to go along with the journal. You don't have to have what I have. You can just, you know, get a cover and sit and chat and listen and, you know, write your comments and stuff like that. And if I have enough people participate and interested, maybe I'll do a live. On one of the um, nights that I do it or one of the days. All right. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. Just know that you are loved and you deserve kindness. Bye now.